What's up guys, this is Clean Game Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to maximize the amount of 5 star characters you can get from summoning. You may think it's plain and simple, but as we start to crunch the numbers you will see that my guy can possibly double your chances of getting a 5 star hero. So first we have to figure out the odds of pulling a 5 star hero. For 5 star focus heroes, focus heroes are characters being highlighted in the event, it starts at 3%. 5 star non focus heroes get 3%, 4 star heroes get 36%, and 3 star heroes get 58%. Now you may notice my numbers are different, and that is because if you summon 5 characters without getting a 5 star, your odds increase by 0.5%. That 0.5 is split in half and given to 5 star focus heroes and 5 star non focus heroes, and your chances to get 5 star heroes keeps increasing by 0.5% until you pull a 5 star or 5 star focus hero. Then both odds will go back to 3%. Don't worry though, because this isn't what my guide is about. Instead I'll show you that there is a technique to getting 5 stars more often. First we have to figure out what causes a few things. At what point is a character chosen? Are all characters predestined at the point you start the summoning process and see the 5 orb options? We will call this option A. Or, instead, is the character decided at the point you select a specific orb and start to summon? This is option B. Luckily, this is relatively easy to figure out. We have to consider both sides. With option A, all characters are already determined by the time you do your first summon. That means the orb colors are not random, but instead are determined by the character that was selected by chance. Option B means that all orbs are random and that heroes aren't generated till you select the orb and start the summoning process. While this isn't anything confirmed by Nintendo, we can use evidence to decide if it's option A or B. If you look at hero summons in the game and select details, scroll to the bottom and you will find a paragraph titled Appearance Based on Rarity. This basically says all heroes of the same rarity are given a fraction of the total percent given to their rarity. For example, if there are six, 5 star focus heroes and a 3% chance to summon one, then each hero has a 0.5% chance of being summoned. This evidence would suggest all heroes are predetermined at the point that you start your summoning session, supporting option A. Also consider this. In this current focus summons, there are zero green 5 star focus heroes. If you select a green orb to get a character, there is a 0% chance of getting a 5 star focus hero. Option B has no explanation for this, but option A can account for this because the odds are not applied to each orb, but instead applied to the five orbs summoned as a whole. So now we know that all heroes are already determined at the point that you see the five different colored orbs. With this bit of information, we can increase our chances to get five star heroes. First, let's look at the five star non-focus heroes. There are 16 red, 10 blue, 9 green, and 7 clear making a total of 42. We can then determine the odds of getting any individual 5 star non-focus hero by taking the 3% dividing it by 42 and find that it is about 7 hundredth of a percent that you will get a certain hero. Next is to find the chance that a 5 star hero is a certain color. For example, there are 7 clear heroes. To find the odds of pulling a clear 5 star non-focus hero, we can take our fraction from before and multiply it by 7 giving us about half of a percent. Your first guess may be to assume that since most 5 star non-focus heroes are red, that red will give you the best chances. But this isn't necessarily true, because we also have to look at the odds of red being a 4 or a 3 star. I won't bore you with all the math, but I went and found all the odds of the characters and colors there were and was able to find the odds of any individual orb being a certain color. Just because there are 4 orbs, doesn't mean an orb has a 25% chance of being red, instead it is about 32% chance of being red. With that in mind, I took the odds of a certain rarity of hero, for example, 5 star non-focus hero being red, and divided it by the chance of getting that orb color. I then multiplied it by 100 to make it a percentage and was able to get these numbers for 5 star focus heroes and 5 star non-focus heroes. Adding these two together, we get these numbers for every color representing the chance of getting a 5 star hero based on the color orb you choose. As you can see, if you select a blue orb, your odds are actually 7%, not 6% like Nintendo would like you to believe. But on the other hand, green's horrible odds come from the lack of 5 star focus heroes. 
But this is assuming you had all the light orbs in the world, and it didn't matter how many light orbs you spent. When I factor light orbs into the equation, I try to determine the maximum 5 star heroes per light orb. I even put into consideration the fact that after picking the first color orb, the next orb will cost 4 light orbs, and the fifth color orb in the session is 3 light orbs. Even then we got these numbers. As you can see, it is never worth choosing a green orb, even if it's 3 light orbs, it is less efficient than a clear orb for 5 light orbs. So, if you only have 13 light orbs and want heroes now, your best odds for 5 star heroes is to select all the blue orbs, then the red orbs, then the clear orbs, and don't even touch the green ones. The only reason you should be picking green orbs if you're unlucky enough to get a session with 5 green orbs, or you have a green hero specifically you want to summon. Now understand, this strategy will work, but only until they change the focus summon heroes again. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, because I'll be making much shorter videos with updated numbers when they release the new focus summons, so that you can continue to get more 5 star heroes. Feel free to like and comment below, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Also, if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you shared it with your friends.